A beautiful sight it is. Lots of youngsters, lots of boys around here, and I think they are all keeping each other company, likely because they all have a broken heart. Isn't that dramatic? No. Now, in more seriousness, I think all of these boys around here, this, we've bumped into a herd of bachelors, so just males as far as we can see. And very likely what happened is we've got different ages, so we've got some of the youngsters that were chased off their herd um, as soon as the rutting season began, and then we likely are also seeing some of the males that could only hold the dominance over a particular herd of females for a few days at a time before they got kicked out and they had to retreat and regain their strength and start eating again before trying their attempt once more at all the ladies. So I think there are maybe about 10 of them hiding in between all of the bushes and just one that is outside and he seems to be one of the older ones judging just by how big his horns are and the fact that they are slightly facing away from each other. I think the rest of the boys around here that I can see, their horns are still slightly curved um, towards the inside, so I would say they are about maybe two years old, whereas this one that we're looking at, perhaps somewhere around four, getting into the peak of his, of his time. I'm sure maybe next rotting season he'll be able to fare a bit better. They keep looking in that area. I wonder if perhaps they had spotted something because they were all looking and we are roughly or in the vicinity where we last had amber eyes and the rest of the Ankuhuma so I was hoping that maybe we would see any tracks for lions around here but unfortunately it seems that's not quite the case. They are still all hiding. Hmm. Well, the impalas are also hiding. We shall carry on trying to spice our luck up and see what else we can find, but let's go to Taylor, who's walking with the elephants. <laughs> <laughs> 